Um, my dad is halfway through the treatment, praise the Lord. Um, but these last two weeks of treatments are going to be the hardest, they say. Um, the radiation is very intense. He's actually got some burns on his neck and skin that they're having to treat. But um, we went yesterday for his last chemo, but they didn't get to do it because his white blood cell count was too low. But they said that was normal. So uh, they're waiting a week and uh, he'll go in next Monday. So that will be his last chemo. I think he has maybe 12 radiations left. And, um, but the doctors say he is responding very well to the treatment. And um, actually, uh, a couple weeks ago, the doctor said that the tumors had shrunk considerably more than they had hoped for at this, at this uh, uh, time in the treatment. And then just last week, I was actually with him at his uh, radiologist appointment. And he walked in, he said, Mr. Root, the tumor is melting. It is just melting away, so praise God. Uh, but y'all pray for him because these last two weeks are very, um, gonna be very tough, um, painful because the radiation is so intense, it's causing some burns and actually burns inside of his mouth. So um, that's gonna be really hard. And um, it's having a hard time keeping weight on too. He's lost a good bit of weight, but Right now he's okay, but he just has got to be able to take in some more nutrition. But thank everybody for praying. It's just, um, it's working. Prayer works, and we thank you so much. We're in Altoona, Pennsylvania at the Shriners Jaffa Mosque. How hot is it? Hot as Hades. It's 2006, and there is a building with no air conditioning. And we're performing. We're performing. Tonight. It's terrible. How, how hard am I going to sweat? <laughs> you are going to sweat. I've got to find a towel. We have a, five, a Mark Lowry five pack that I always put together. It's got my very first comedy video, or DVD. You don't make videos anymore, but DVD. Uh, the last word, is that right? The last word. Need my glasses. The middle. <laughs> and then uh, I wrote this book that has no spiritual significance at all. It's called Live Long, Die Laughing. And it's very short chapters. It's for the attention deficit disordered reader. Or those who like to read in the restroom. It's one chapter per sitting. I timed it. Like I wrote it in the restroom. 300 rolls, but I got it in. Mark, we're getting a little old to be doing this, aren't we? Gary. We are. We've been doing this. How long about known you? Mark, oh, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that, but your answer would probably be too long, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gary I'm, is I'm the joking. promoter. Gary no. and Roy. G yeah. Gary is the promoter of most of my concerts. He and Roy Morgan. Roy, Roy never Morgan. shows up, but Gary always does. Gary. I do show up. Gary's a faithful. lot more. Yes, I am. Thank and you, tonight Mark. we're in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And he, we, how many people? Fifteen hundred people. We've got between fifteen and seventeen hundred, and it's all his fault. No, no. Well, yeah. Well, let me let me just say this. I have found that I could be wrong, but I have found that if you have an artist that people want to see in concert, they'll come. And if you don't have an artist, or if you have an artist they don't want to see, they won't come. It's that's pretty basic. Gary's good. Gary and Roy are the best. Let me tell you the way most artists are, Mark. Most artists, not you, you are the exception to this, but okay. most contemporary Christian artists are just like this. When everything's going great and their careers are soaring and big crowds are turning out, it's the artist who's bringing them in. When the career peaks and they're going down, it's the promoter who can't get him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say that. Either. I'm surprised anybody shows up, and he—they did the best job. That's why I stick with them for the most part. I mean, now every now and then, like last night, I was with a great group. They had a great crowd up there in Maine, and they always do. But that's kind of a—they don't do the whole country. You do the whole country. Yeah. You did our right. tour to California. I don't know how you do it. Well, Mark, I tell you, it's uh, Roy and I both believe God has called us to do this, and He's given us a passion and a love, 
And that's part of it. And the other part of it is we work with people we like and people we believe in. And we believe in your ministry and we've seen how God has worked in your life. And it's literally every night, just like tonight, I was out front before the doors opened and I was praying in the arena. God, just feel your spirit with this in this place tonight and touch people in the way they need to be touched, whether it's emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, in a marriage, in a parent-child relationship. Yeah. And, and Mark, I think God uses you to, to work in all of these ways. And I think every single night, one of the things I like about uh, the God is Crazy About You tour with you all in the Lord's Song and Stan is uh, that every night's different and I, I really think you all want to be a conduit. You like that word? A that's, conduit. That's a good word. For God and Three the Holy syllables. Spirit. That's right. For God and the Holy Spirit every night to come in and minister. And you don't have an agenda and you don't have a plan no. and you just let God go. That's because I have a And that works. But you know, if you have ADD, you can't make a plan because you never know where you're going to end up. But I do agree that if God doesn't show up, it is so boring. Yeah. I am so bored. And there's no air conditioning here tonight. So That's you right. know how bored I'd be? Let me say this. If good, God wasn't here? A good promoter would have known <laughs> there wasn't air conditioning in this building. But okay? they, they, got so many fans, <laughs> they got so many fans on me, I'm not sweating bad. It's amazing. It's Everybody's amazing. out there with their funeral fans. So it's, it's fun. Thank you, Gary. It is our joy. Our pleasure, buddy. Wake up. <laughs>